uh, Julius Walker for Education Management Solutions, EMS. Um, I'm the Regional Sales Manager for the West Coast in Canada. Um, Education Management Solutions, we've been around for about 19 years. Uh, we started out um, before in clinical skills, and as you know, over the last seven years, simulation has heavily evolved. So now we actually focus pretty heavily on simulation. So we provide simulation management and audiovisual capture solutions for nursing school, medical schools, hospital, and also government facilities, both U.S. and internationally. Orion is uh, the next generation of the EMS uh, simulation clinical skill product. Um, our uh, previous model was the Arcadia platform. So with Orion, we introduced, we took in mind the ability to have the mobility, the tablet approach, um, a very simple uh, user interface, um, but also have the feature functionality that separates us from um, others in the industry. Um, so with this, we're able to, to introduce streamlined processes, um, easier click patterns, um, being able to generate statistical data, uh, customized reports, uh, various things like that that makes the whole standard workflow a lot easier for the end user. Um, we've introduced a three-click rule. So you should be able to complete every task in three clicks. Um, also, it introduced a lot of mobility app, um, capabilities. So being able to use iPad, Android products um, to accomplish checklists, video review, um, and do the normal things that you would do from a control station. So in this application, it, it, it does one thing. Um, you might see an industry where you have clinical skills and you have simulation. Now they're defined as a hybrid simulation. So we brought both of those models together to provide an easy look and feel for the users, no matter if they're using cases um, or a scenario, and then also case collection. Um, in this too, you'll see we've introduced the EHR module, which takes more of a learner-centric approach instead of a patient-centric approach. The EHR model, uh, we've defined working with uh, Texas Tech Lubbock, uh, Sharon Decker's group, um, on creating forms that gives the students ability to do uh, EHR um, exercises on a virtual patient. Um, and they'll be graded and evaluated based off of the entries that they put in. So it's just a high level template, it's about 48 forms that they can complete and you can associate with a case or a scenario um, during a live uh, session or a post. So we support uh, regular analog standard def. Uh, we have a H, um, IP architecture and Dalton also HD. Um, we, the most amount of fees that we have in our system currently is 100 and, 179. Um, at the University of Singapore. Um, so we're, we're managing 60 clinical scale rooms, 14 simulation rooms. So we, we can go from the one, two rooms all the way up to 79 rooms. So what we have here is just a high level view of the overall dashboard. The biggest thing is faculty go into the system. First of all, they don't feel comfortable from a technology standpoint, um, but we make that process a lot easier. So being able to create to-do lists, um, the items. So if they have video that was not indexed, they can index video at a later date. Also their favorites, so you might have a point where, hey, I, I worry about scenario, checklist, um, and video review. You can create your shortcut favorites. And then the message center, um, some of the larger facilities need to get a message out to their whole community. Um, you can send a global message out, it goes up to the message center and it gets sent out. And then also the calendar, any update events that you might have occurring, um, you can show on the calendar here. Um, so if you look at the top here, we have various things like the item library, which controls uh, like questions for your, uh, your clinical skills um, or simulation checklist. Uh, we also have our case and scenario uh, section where you can define scenarios and cases and also case collections. Um, we have here is a fully integrated uh, calendar that integrates with some of the, uh, the, the other um, email systems like Outlook, um, Google Calendars. Um, so you can create requests from a simulation or a standardized patient environment and it's sent out to the faculties and to their personal calendars and also tracked here. Uh, we have a video section uh, which allows you to do video review over the web um, of one or multiple cameras. Um, and you'll have access here to index, non-index, and then also bookmarks. So help streamline that process. We also hear is the evaluation. The biggest thing is you have the AV, uh, which is pretty much, I think, is one of the easier parts. Um, when you get into the bookmarking is the advanced parts, but also the evaluation. I measure in competencies. How do I track learner's performance over time? This is the area where we give you to do learner performance ad hoc sessions, uh, anonymous surveys. One of the biggest things is that learners don't feel comfortable when a facilitator's in the room. Anonymous survey, let them know the feedback for us, how simulation actually. Uh, the case and scenario section where we've defined the ability to be able to capture the workflow of the simulation. So identifying things like your objectives, um, capital equipment, drug supplies, and the scenario definition of exactly what we're accomplishing outside of the actual simulator file. Um, and if you see here, we had ability to allow you to collapse and actually uh, expand um, the different areas that you want to cover. Can you do that real quick?
So this is just, uh, I'll click on a couple tabs here. This is just the scenario information. So you can write your scenario name, a beach description, give you a general uh, breakdown of the time uh, frames for that particular session. And then also down here, like if you're doing any type of uh, pre-encounter with your learners before simulation or clinical, and also uh, pre-sim studies, which allows you to in input information to the learners beforehand. You know, pretty much watch up to four screens um, at one time. Um, or you can have the ability to do a single view, um, a quad view, a tri view, um, an actual another quad view, or I can get rid of the software GUI and go and pretty much go full screen. So it allows you to have those capabilities along with some of the advanced bookmarking, um, live events from the simulator, and then also tags at the bottom that indicate where the bookmark flags are. So you can uh, visit us at uh, www.ems-works.com. Um, and then also we have monthly webinars based off of their various topics in simulation that are not product driven but more educational and technology driven. So um, through our website you can find out about those things also.